star screen back. I'm not a happy chap today. I've just got something and it's really, really unpleasant. Now, normally when I finish work, I don't usually come and do videos because look, I am really scrappy. Look, my hair looks like something that is attached by straw and my clothes are equally as unpleasant. But I felt I was obligated to point out this transforming toy to you to make sure that nobody has to suffer or endure the irritation, torment and pissing off that I have by this toy because it really is shockingly bad. What do you think? He's right, you know. He's bang on right. I always agree with him. He's always on the mark. See, he always agrees with me. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'll need you in a minute, so just stay there. Thanks. Right. What's the toy? It's a combining toy. It's a new one. And on face value, it seemed a good idea at the time. Like, does Argos have a sale at the moment? And they're £15. And I thought, it's £15 of money well spent by the look of the box. And I was quite impressed by it. And then I got it home and opened it, and then it all started to go horribly wrong. And then I tried to combine it, and things got worse. I know you can't imagine that they could get worse, but they did. I'm going to have to show you the toy now. Um, yeah, I think I just should show it to you, and get it over and done with, you know, and then you'll know better. You won't have to endure the misery that I've endured. Okay, let's have it. Here you go. Here it is. They're called the Rally Bots, alright? The Rally Bots. Who come up with that name? Just calm down now. Here it is. Double clutch. You know those things that you use to change gear? I use them every day, by the way. So, I know my clutches. This ain't a single clutch. Ain't even a double clutch. It's a crap clutch. Now, if that sounds a bit daft, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything sounding better than that. But we're going to go with crap clutch for the time being. Double clutch just sounds too good. It sounds like he's double of something which you use. You wouldn't want to use this, because it's horrible. It's absolutely atrocious. It's an abysmally, shockingly bad made transformer. I'm really disappointed with it. So, you will probably think to yourselves, don't look too bad, does it? I'm assuming it stands up, you know, and it works. Shut up! Where's my problem? Shall I start at the beginning for you, yeah? We go one step at a time. By the end of this, nobody will want to buy this. It's that freaking bad! First things first, the joints where they attach. Now, if you've got any of these little guys, you know, I think they attach all in a similar way. This one has a problem. You see that arm doesn't look quite right, does it? In actual fact, it should be just like that, just to give it a, a, an element of straightness is the only way that I can describe it. Most arms are like that, aren't they? You don't sit there with your arm like that. But this guy does. So you, it only takes just a tad to get it into shape. And that's as good as it gets. But it always, it just sit on the shelf, it eventually, see, it won't even stay on the joint on his arm. The ball joints do not hold the weight. Now I can try and clip this back in and it moves forward. It won't take weight. Now you think I'm being a twat by doing this, but I'm not. I'll show you, look, I'll show you directly what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'll show you what I mean, look. Okay, so this attaches to here. This doesn't stay straight, okay? Not for one second will this bit hold its own way. So you're trying to attach the ball joint. Okay, so just imagine, say, it's attached, all right? I'm trying to be fair here. He's more than he deserves. And you have these little pegs here. See these little pegs here? Tiny little pegs. You've got to try and attach this. Whilst trying to keep this bit straight, that always moves. And you've got to try and get this hole here to attach to that there. But that bit keeps moving. And this is just the start of it. Okay, so I'm get this on there. Alright, so that's part of it done. Got to try and... No, it's off again. Okay, so we'll try that once more. Get that to... <sighs> Ball joint bit. Get in. <sighs> get it. Off again. Get this ball joint here. It's got to try and attach to this bit of hood here. Can we do it without it coming out of the ball joint? Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Give it a... Okay, so we got it. Not quite in. But it's good enough. Okay, so now we have to get this into this joint here, don't we? Okay, so that joint's in. You just have to apply a little bit of pressure. And it's off again. It's off. The bloody thing keeps falling off. That's not the worst part. You see, it requires this box here to put enough pressure in to make this transform out. But for some reason, it doesn't stay. It will always end up a bit like that. 
and you push it in and you leave it. I'm promising you that joint will not hold and it'll eventually end up like that. So he sits up there with one arm that's clawed up his back. Now that's just the start of it. Here, let me explain this bit. You see this bit here? These pegs. See these pegs here? They're, they're quite simple. You're supposed to, you would have meant to attach to here, wouldn't you? You try and get them in here, alright? You try. And they will not hold. Look, see, look. Push down, don't hold. Push down, don't hold. Push down, don't hold. Don't hold, don't hold, don't hold. Don't hold. <sighs> it's not that bad. And now to the legs. The legs. Oh, the legs. They have a mind of their own. Now, you see these joints here? Don't you see them? Like that? You have to literally take the leg off. Alright? I am not joking you. Pull this bit round here so that the bit that attaches here, if I put it on camera, it would help. See there, the ball joint bit faces up. It won't twist in the joint, you have to remove it. There's no way on this earth you can do it in the gap. The gap is too small. Down here, see the gap? Too small. Get your stupid arm out of the way. See that little gap there, yeah? All right, you're supposed to about pivot it round. There's not enough clearance between the top and the bottom for you to pivot it round. You have to remove it. It's like a Beast Wars toy. If you want to transform it, you remove the limbs. Why? What are they thinking with this toy? So that's how you have to do it, and it's frustrating. Then you've got to attach the legs. The legs are annoying when you attach them to these joints here. They've got the same problem with these joints, but they don't transform automatically. You see this? This thing is stuck now. It's stuck like that. It will not convert back into alt mode. And I haven't figured out why not. What? See, this is stuck like this now. I can't get it out. There we go. Vehicle mode. Alright, that's vehicle mode. Now, you think that when you push in the plug, it will transform it. That's the whole point of them, isn't it? You push them in and they convert. Okay, so let's try this one, shall we? Here's his leg, here's the joint that's supposed to convert said leg. Let's push it in, see what happens. Get in! Okay, so it does that. It hasn't converted it. Do you think he can stand like that? Because I bloody well don't. No, you have to do it yourself. And it's annoyingly frustrating because it will not work. I spent ages with this thing and I'm not an idiot. I know how to transform transformers. So you put up the front there and you think, oh, well, I've done the job here, see, look, that's put up, that must be right. But no, look, there's a bit missing here. Why is that bit there and that bit there? How can he stand? He's going to fall over. That's because it's not transformed properly. You have to try and pivot it up, but it won't stay. There's a spring on it. It doesn't... There we go, got it. And that's how you have to do it. This toy is abysmal. It's horrible. I hate it. It really is a frustrating transformer. I spent an hour playing with this thinking I'm doing something wrong. I'm not transforming it correctly. I'm just missing it. I even use the instructions. Yes, the instructions. I make it a point of never using instructions. If I have to, I'm obviously an idiot. But I had to, so I'm an idiot then. I had to use instructions and he still will not stay in one piece. He's the most frustrating thing ever. I can't stand this thing. It's horrible. You see, when I first saw it, I thought, it's a good idea, isn't it? And I thought it'd be like a nemesis to get a good transform. Give me a good transformer. Give me a good one. I just so happened to be playing with that such transformer. And here you go. Puzzler. Now, Puzzler's brilliant. Puzzler is great. He's a Gobot, by the way. But you, you'll know that anyway. So, Gobot is a great combining of cars. I don't have to point that out. And there's other... Brilliant Transformers that combine. Get out of the way. Yeah. There's other great Transformers that combine with cars, but I wanted to use Puzzler as an example because he's a Gobot, and people look down on Gobots, don't they, as Transformers are slightly superior. Not in this case. Puzzler is vastly superior. His arm just fell off. He's trying to make me look like a liar, but I'll carry on because I'm a trooper. <laughs> so, Puzzler is good. And individually, each all mode part transforms. Now I'm not going to hold that against this thing in general because that's what they're doing. The main body of it transforms. The main body of said toy is alright. It's not brilliant but it's okay. But it's just when you combine it that's where the frustration lies. It won't hold together. All of the pegs and all of the connections do not work. 
They work on the instruction manual. You go through it, it looks fine. You try and convert him, he will not stay together. I'm not joking and I'm not being funny. He is atrocious. If you like the look of the package, like I did, I'm afraid you've been tricked. Avoid him. Double clutch is a double crap. Avoid him like the plague. I'm not doing this for jokes. He generally is a really, really, really doubly crap transformer. Don't buy him.